So it's a wrap today on the How to Build a Koi Pond set here at Rosemary's Place. And um, I gotta tell you, it's gonna, it's gonna be a little hard for us not to come here every weekend because Rosemary's a great cook and we've had a really good time coaching everyone along here in this tutorial series. Before we show you around the pond here at the end, I want to make sure you feel really comfortable about tackling this pond yourself. I think we've done a good job at going through all the steps and covering all the little details you're gonna need to be able to do everything yourself right the first time. We've broken up the video series in smaller segments so we can help direct you to the specifics. If you have questions, say about the settlement tank or about the UV filter, we can guide you right to those spots and help coach you along the way. If you're looking for professional installation on a pond like this, and um, you know, let's say you, you have a consultant come out and they try and talk you out of a bottom drain or going so deep, then I want you to continue looking for the right professional contractor to do the project for you. If the contractor's trying to talk you out of installing a bottom drain, he's probably unfamiliar with this style of pond construction and maybe talking you two into a system that he's more comfortable building. I want you to know that if you are looking for a professional help on a pond like this, you can look to us for assistance and we can either help you design the pond, give you a set of plans, and send you on your way to help find you a contractor that's right for the project. Before we uh, move on and show you the rest of the stuff, I wanna sit down and talk with Rosemary about her journey in ponds because she started off with a very small garden pond and she graduated to a, an ecosystem pond and then an undergravel grid pond and then she's come a long way and now she has this dedicated koi pond. So I think it's gonna be a really interesting story to hear from her. Rosemary, this is it, we're wrapped up, we're done. Unbelievable. <laughs> we're so gonna miss happy. all the good home cooked meals that you did for us. Yep. <laughs> I think, it, I think we prolonged it a little bit because you're such a good cook. No, I don't think I'm a good cook, but I do have some good recipes. <laughs> <laughs> we want to know about your journey in ponds. Tell us about the very first pond you ever had. So my very first pond was a home I bought that had a 100-gallon shell pond, and I loved it. So One of those little hard plastic ones you get at the big box stores, right? Yeah, yeah. So That was, that was one of my first ponds, too. I had a yeah. friend come over, though, and he's like, hey, I had plenty of space in my backyard. He's like, it was a circle of trees. And he said, you need to build a pond in the circle of trees. So before I knew it, we were shoveling dirt out, homemade pond. All by yourself. All by ourselves, just the two nice. of us. And it was amazing. I mean, it was a good pond. But eventually I moved and I had another pond built. Because you couldn't live without one? Because, well, of course I couldn't live without <laughs> one. And I was, I was hooked. I mean, my fish were my babies. I couldn't, I could not, there's no way I was going to part with them. So I need are some of these pond. fish from that very first pond? Yes, they are. Yep. Of course There's they are. There's at least four of them from the very first pond. So I eventually had another one built. They were all the rock bottom ponds. Um, they had the rock. Actually, my first one, though, was the filter that kind of sat out to the side. It was like a Home Depot filter. Yeah, yeah. I know what so you're about. the second one that I had built was more of the, the pool skimmer filter, um, which was... Which was, I was happy. I was like, oh, okay, I'm moving up. I'm upgrading. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it got bigger every time, right? Yeah, it oh, absolutely got bigger every time. So here I am, I mean, three or four ponds later, and I have the pond of my dreams. The pond of your dreams. That's what we want to know. So all your other ponds, the max depth is like 24 to 36 inches maybe at the most? Yes, yes. Now we're at five foot deep? Yes. Brings, in, brings in a new dimension, huh? Yes. My fish are swimming backward forward up and down i mean it's just crazy yeah they're growing they're happy they're i mean they look fantastic yeah they're 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 happier than i've ever seen them they're gonna grow <laughs> fast in this big deep yeah. pond <laughs> so the so let's just be clear so each time along the way you went from the simple shell pond to water garden ecosystem rocks and gravel and then each time along the way, you upgraded filters. You had a hybrid pond along the way, kind of leading you to the dedicated koi pond right. you have I mean, today. you built that one for me. Um, and then I asked you to come back and make it bigger because uh, I still wasn't happy. That was like five months later. I remember? know, I know. When you called me and said, I need, I need you to like, expand it, I was like, are you kidding me? Yep. So uh, this is absolutely by far my most amazing pond. But. But. I'm thinking I want it bigger, so I, we should do an expansion. <laughs> Already? <laughs> I've never, I always want it bigger. Bigger's better. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, on that note, we're going to call it a quit so I can talk to her about our new extension. Until next time, I'm Eric Triplett, the Pond Digger. Thanks for watching. Extension already? Are you kidding me?